Hey guys, so today I wanted to come and show how I do my um, middle part slick back bun. So this is going to be the tutorial. Um, what you are going to need is some gel. This is the Eco Styler Unicorn Glitter Gel. I don't have that much, so I might have to switch out for the Eco Styler um, Crystal Clear. But um, I've been, I just had got out the shower, but I did do my makeup for the video. So like it's been probably drying for about 20, 30 minutes. Um, but as soon as I get out the shower... I usually put this, <laughs> I put this, um, okay, the Carol's Daughter Hydrate and Leave-In Conditioner. It's a spray. And then I use the Bella Curls um, Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In Conditioner. And then to lock in all the moisture, I'm just using random oil. I always just use some random oil, some coconut oil. And then, of course, to get my hair to cooperate, I have a wide tooth comb, a brush, um, I have the comb with the metal tip so that when I do my middle part, it's precise. And then, of course, my toothbrush <laughs> for my baby hairs. And I love Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty on it. Okay, anyways. So, yes. Let's get started. Okay, I did just go and grab the um, the Crystal Clear Eco Styler Gel. We got this big, <laughs> this big old container. But I just do not think it's going to be enough to do my slickness with this amount child so anyway let's get this tabs. I literally just glob on so I just glob on a big amount and I just put it right on the middle part because that's what I'm gonna start for the parting process look at the little glitter okay Look away. This is just a little slick back bunch, so I'm not going to do it all the way back. Okay, Huntsy, Huntsy. And just so I'm not taking all day because I can't be a perfectionist, we're just going to say this is A-OK -okay for now. Because at this point, I need it to just... God damn it, y'all. I literally just forgot to put all my motherfucking... <laughs> this is so ghetto. I just forgot to put all the little uh, stuff in my hair, y'all. So I'm about to just fucking do it real quick. And this is so ghetto. So I'm just put that in the title so people know what to expect, honey. Okay, so first things first, I was just too hyped to get to the staff. So that was me just spraying the little Carol's daughter. I'm gonna have to do another one of these <laughs> because that was so ghetto. Okay, but I literally just bring it into my hair and then this cream, this is the Bella Curls cream. Now with the cream, I like to start at my tips so that it is getting up in there okay the spray is like it's usually gonna do what it needs to do so i'm not worried about that when i spray it but when i put the cream on it, i definitely want to make sure that i'm capturing the moisture for the curls i cannot believe i did that middle part thing <laughs> and it's looking all cute with a little glitter child anyway but I'm going to do another one of these because I just messed that up. That was so ghetto. <laughs> okay, but with the Bella Curls, like, all just aside, it really does give it a nice little flattening effect, especially for the style that I'm about to do. So, boom. That's the Bella Curls. That is so funny. I cannot get over it. <laughs> and then, lastly, I just put my little oil in there and again it's just some random coconut oil i know i began a little carried away with the oil y'all okay and now that my <laughs> the ends of my hair are moisture how they supposed to let's continue <laughs> 
I cannot believe I did that. Let's continue. Okay. So, again, after I do the little moisture foundation, I start in that middle part. And I really go ham with the gel because it's like you want it to be slick. So, it's like I'm not about to be all scared with that. I just get a lot and just bring that shit in. Get up in there. Is that my damn earring? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get in the way. Okay. And yes, it always has this weird effect. Like, it looks extra stringy. Because my hair, like, of course I'm natural, but it literally gets so thin when I put um, products in it. Like, as you can see, it has... Okay, so boom. We got our little product in, and then I literally just detangle the ends so that when I'm doing the bun part in the back, it's not giving me no crazy time. So I started my ends, and I just <laughs> worked my way up. Damn it. And again, this is just so that my bun part is not all crazy and it's not all jumbled up when I'm putting it in the back bun. Yeah. Okay, and then this little middle part right here. See my little drying. So let's just go ahead and work some right here in that back for that slickety slick pop back there. All right. Boom. So that's that's about it with this damn gel. So let's see how slickety slick it'll get with this amount. Now here, I just literally start in the middle and just slick it. Slick it, slick it, slick it. This way, I'm gonna keep trying to come out. Oh yes, honey, I'm sorry. But this is, I just love the way you just be doing this thing, honey. And then I usually just keep wrapping it around. I don't go from side part to I don't come from this part to this part I usually just literally slick this first side down get that back to match and then I make my way to the other side and then yes play with it make sure that slick is slick and hunty hunty I hope y'all can hear the bird. I hope y'all can hear the little sklickly sklicks clicks. All right, so we about done, honestly, truly. So once I get it to look like this, like of course it's not formed all the way like I want it to be. So I just go ahead and put it in a ponytail to just train the back of my hair to be like, okay, yeah, I know what we about to do. Exactly, we about to get cheeky with it. Okay, so I think I am going to use the rest of this for my edges. So I'm just going to bust out the um, <laughs> the crystal clear one. And yeah, the next tutorial, it will literally just be me using this crystal clear one. Unless I go and grab some more of that unicorn gel. Okay, so now that it is all slickly slick, now it's just about forming it how you want. I got a little unkin head, so... <laughs> I like mine to be very pent down like my hair is pretty little my head is pretty little so 
I just like it to be looking precise. Oh, yes, honey, look at it. Just glob it on there. Glob it on there because you know if you don't, it's not going to do what you want it to do. It's just point blank, period. All right. Yes, honey. Slick me up, slick me up. <laughs> slick me out. Puppy, slick me out. Okay, so this is going really good, guys. Yes. And a lot of people always be complaining, oh, my eco salad be flaking. Child, I wash my hair, well, I co-wash it. Not co-wash it, I just use conditioner. So it's like, I wash my hair every day. And to each his own, everybody gonna do their own thing. But girl, if you know you just use some gel that's gonna flake up, just wash it out, honey, okay? Okay, so now this part, I just try to make sure that it don't look like no alopecia going on at that back part. You see how I was doing this little thing right here? Yeah, let's just slick that right on down. Ooh, this middle part is so cringy to me, but let's keep it moving. So again, because I'm about to brush it again, I just go to that back part because I know I want it to be slick in that bun. The poly see. I hope y'all see that. Okay. And like I was saying before, I really hope y'all can hear that little AM, ASMR little part. Okay. So, now it's for the most part. Of course, I'm going to stick it back down, but I'm about to just go ahead and do my edges. So, yes. Put on my product and scoop it all up with the gel. Scoop up all the gel. Flatten it down. And then, once I'm about to like really get jiggy with putting it in the bun i just bust out my edges really quickly and what i do with it okay and this is my favorite i love baby hairs i've been wearing them forever and yes let's get that slick it on up slick it on up Now, sometimes when I'm putting it back into the um, bun, like, it can start acting like you don't want to do the little scoop through. So, I do go back in with the little um, comb, and I just make sure that my edges are scooping into the bun how I want it to. I don't know why that little tune is in my head. It's hypnotized me. See, this be my main issue. It be really right there. It do not be wanting to go back in there. Be trying to hang out. <laughs> what? It be trying to hang out. Okay. And then this is when I. Okay, 
behind them and then just going right back in there to slick those little pieces making sure they're all nice and cute And then just a little jabby jab, just bring that out right there. Boom. So we got our edges on this side. And let's do our little baby hairs on the other side. And my baby hair naturally wants to swoop to the side, but I just like to make it look like it's uh, symmetrical. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three. Oh, yeah, we need to make these look big. Okay, so for the most part, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to get it to do what I need it to do. Okay, honey, let me gel these little pieces up. And we're going to get this bun. Flat down, bow down. <laughs> what? Ch Ooh. Excuse me. And for me, it's really the baby hair that be making this style. Like, if you got a sweet back bunny, your edges don't look all cute. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying. I love some nice, just love some nice little baby hair action. All right, honey. So that's out the way. Our little edges are in place. Sorry, because I'm just going back in with some more of this gel. Because this part, I wanted to lay down a little bit more. And yes. All right, 
So now let's play with this pony. <laughs> okay, so we are stiff, honey. I just go underneath. Shoot, can y'all see that? I just go underneath so that the bottom part of the bun is not looking crazy. Yes, yes. It's looking like we're about to go to brunch, honey. Okay. Oh, so satisfying. Okay. So now I'm just playing with the back, trying to mold it. Because I can feel them little crinklies back there. Mm -hmm. Smooth it out, boys. Smooth it out. Now, I could keep going to perfecting everything, but I'm just going to go ahead. And I, I'm saying it, but I'm still playing with it because I can feel that little crinkly part right there. But anyway, honey boo boo child, that is pretty much the tutorial. I thought I get this little. And I hope that you can see the way I'm doing this. I'm just wrapping it around. Then I make a little bun. I'm going to have a little tail. And that little tail, I'm literally just going to wrap it around. The bow. I hope y'all see this. Can I give a little fan? A little, a little dimension. All right. And of course, you can go back in. Make sure the little sparse parts are up to your liking. But yes. Yes, girls. This is it. I hope you liked the little tutorial.